You know, Shane, I'm the only guy here who's actually ever swept the floor, I bet. I was a stay-at-home dad for three years. There you go. Look at that macaroni and cheese. Disappears with these. Sean, have you shown this to any retailers? I have. And what response did you get? I've heard things like market mover and, and the fact that it blows people away. Uh, I've talked with one of the nation's largest janitorial supplies companies, and their question to me wasn't whether or not I had a product. They said, Shane, when can you have a finished product? Did they give you a purchase order? They didn't give me a purchase order yet because I'm not licensed, bonded, insured. I'm, a, I'm just a one-man company right now. I'm trying to understand your vision for this business. Are we going to make brooms and start selling them to all kinds of stores? Or are we going to go and try to go to big broom companies and sell them our broom so they can make it? Exactly. All the above. But Shane, why can't we go to people who already make brooms and get them to simply use this within their products. You're talking about a license? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I think well, you, I could, you could do now. that, Robert. You, you could do that, but the real money, if you could sell it directly to the consumer, you could build a $100 million business. On a single product? Oh, sure. What would you like to retail this at? I beat the pavements in restaurants, movie theaters, hospitals, schools, everywhere I've gone. And I ask them, what would you pay for something like this? And the answer is always the same, 1995. That's wonderful. Let's talk about money, my friend. I don't want to be in the business of manufacturing brooms when I can go and get that distribution all over the world and just sit there and collect the check. That's my idea of a great business.